Okay, I'm so sorry for the washer and dryer in the background. Hopefully it's not too distracting or disturbing. Today, we are going to talk about raves, festivals, everything that I do to prepare, outfits, plur. We're gonna talk about everything right now. And this is in prep and in honor for Beyond Wonderland coming up. So these are just some rave tips I thought off the top of my head. I'm sure there's so much more that I could say, but we're just gonna start with this. And as a little preface to me talking about this, I have been in the rave scene heavily since 2017 so I went to my first like big rave in 2017 but I had gone to little raves in San Diego called scream in 2011 so I've honestly been into EDM since like 2009 2010 like really understanding what it is so tip number one is please if you are going to be taking part of party favors I know that has a huge connection to the scene please know where you're getting it from and please test your stuff and please do not just take it unknowingly get a test kit even if you do think you know the people really well very very important because I know a lot of people take part in a lot of different things to be the safest that we can you just got to test yourself things are getting really scary these days there is a lot of dangerous things going around and you don't want to take part in any of that you want to be really safe and careful and I don't want to connect the scene too much to droogs that's what we're gonna call it because it doesn't have to be like that and you don't have to take them Please go into these things knowing that you don't have to take them You can drink if you want you can be sober You could take a little pre-workout like whatever like gets you going and gets you in like party mode It does not have to be substances. I promise don't feel the peer pressure because I know a lot of people do it Obviously people are gonna do what they're gonna do. I'm not gonna tell people what to do You make your own decision for yourself Don't let anybody peer pressure you or tell you what you're gonna do You have to make that decision completely for yourself look up all the artists you don't know before you go and see who you like I think this is so smart and I've started doing this in the recent years and I have found so many awesome people that I never would have known about or discovered had I not like taken a minute to search up their name on Apple music and see what their sound is like and see if I like them and it's really made everything more interesting I've found so many new EDM artists to listen to and so many more people I'm excited about now when lineups drop and I'm just like so excited to be like supporting smaller DJs as well bring a fanny pack a backpack a lunch box Seb carries one of those and it goes around his like chest so it stays really safe and you can't like unzip it normally so that when there's pickpocketers because that's another tip beware the pickpocketers at festivals because there's a lot of them especially if you're going to SoCal events EDC Vegas I mean I don't know about the other places so be very careful and wear something really protective like don't just like put your phone in your pocket if you're like too drunk or out of your mind or whatever and you're not paying attention like you will get your stuff stolen and they will just open up your stuff and take it out and you won't even notice especially if you're in the middle of the crowd or towards the front where it gets really crazy and hectic and everyone's pushing and shoving mm -mm, not a good time so make sure you have something I would recommend the lunchbox not sponsored or anything but it's just a lot more safe there's also a lot of like water bags where you carry like the backpack that has water in it there's a lot of those that have like really safe zippers as well so like people can't get into it easily so just look for something that's a little safer than just like putting it in your pocket or putting it in your like little cheapy fanny pack or something you know but fanny pack will work you just have to be really careful and mindful <laughs> good things to bring in your fanny pack are tissues baby wipes because sometimes the porta potties if you're in GA which I would recommend getting VIP if you can I started doing VIP recently and it's been absolutely life-changing you don't have to really worry about this stuff because they actually restock the bathrooms and they're like nice bougie bathrooms but if you're in GA with like most people and how I was the first few years of my raving career you're gonna want tissues you're gonna want baby wipes in case they run out you are going to want to bring chapstick you're gonna want to bring if you want like a boom boom inhaler and while a lot of people use that to enhance the party favor vibes you can also literally use it for energy like it gives me energy every single time they literally sell them at the event I don't know if you're allowed to bring it in though I'm gonna be honest so you might have to buy it at the event if they have it or go to their stand I see their stand a lot if not don't bring it in because I don't think it's allowed or I guess just find a way also bring some candy make some candy if you want trade with people the EDM scene has always had candy involved and now I feel like it doesn't and it hasn't had it in a really long time there's a lot of people that are still candy kids and stuff but it's just not as common to see people wearing candy anymore and trading so I highly recommend if you want to make some candy bracelets you can even order some on like Amazon or Etsy and have people make them for you and then when you go to the festival and you see people with candy or you meet a friend even if they don't have candy on you can just give them one of yours or you can of course exchange if 
if you guys both have candy on but if you don't you can give it away to people and it's a cute little memory for people to take home and remember you by peace love unity and then you give a hug after you guys exchange your bracelets and it's so cute and it's so sweet and a lot of people also now bring like toys and little finger puppets I can't tell you how many finger puppets I've gotten at the last few raves like they'll just be like little koalas or like little tiny babies or just like just a random little toys that you can get on Amazon you can get like a hundred of them for super cheap and people will sneak them in I guess and just give them to you and it's so funny you will literally come home with like a baby an eyeball like, <laughs> like you'll just come up with like all this random stuff I feel like that's the new candy low-key but like we got to keep candy alive we got to keep the tradition alive bring a pashmina I was not into them up until recently I am so obsessed with a pashmina I need it especially if I'm being a little trippy dippy hippie I need a pashmina and I need it over my head if I am just like chilling or I'm being a roly-poly or whatever I'm doing these are slang words look it up if you don't understand I don't want to go into depth too much talking about it I don't really care if I have it but if I'm a trippy dippy hippie okay I need it I need it it just gives me the vibes it makes me feel like I'm a freaking like a fortune teller like I just feel so good with it on like it protects me that's another thing too if you do get overwhelmed with these things pashminas are really good to like put over your head and kind of like put on some sunglasses and just vibe out and kind of block yourself out from the world because it can get really overwhelming and overstimulating and it can be a lot it's a really good idea to either buy a pashmina there or bring one I promise you won't regret it it'll come in handy it's also really handy for if you want to sit down you're really tired but there's nowhere to sit or the seating areas are really packed you can place your pashmina down on the like gravel ground anywhere and you can sit down and it's a lot more comfortable than like putting your bare booty on the gravel ground you know what I'm saying so if you are like me and you are blind cannot drive without glasses can't really see at night at all without glasses make sure to bring your glasses or your contacts because it gets really crazy really overwhelming and really dark at these things and I just can't even believe there was a time where I didn't bring glasses to raves I need them and I put them on the second it starts getting dark I have glasses on for the rest of the night definitely make sure you have your contacts or glasses if you wear them be nice to everyone offer help to people if they need it and just spread a vibe that you would want to get back during the night like don't fight with people don't argue with people it should not be a thing here no one should be getting upset at each other everyone should just be on good happy vibes this is a big escape for a lot of us where we come here and we just let loose for the weekend and we just want only good vibes surrounding us we don't want people telling us where to go telling us what to do pushing us around or just being bad vibes being really mean to us like nobody freaking wants that so keep your bad vibes at home do not bring them to the festival I promise whatever festival or rave you're going to do not bring bad vibes just let loose and let the weekend do for you what you need it to do which is like reset your mind reset your life a little bit like it's just like it should be a refreshing thing when you get back you shouldn't be like stressed out like oh it was a bad weekend like I've had plenty of weekends where I'm like this was the worst weekend of my life it happens okay but do your best to check the bad vibes leave them at home bitch if you see somebody on the floor feel free to check on them if it looks a little scary they have ground control for that so they already have people going around making sure everyone's okay because a lot of people like to sleep and rest and like lay out on the floor and stuff on random places so but you can always do your part too and make sure everyone's good I believe at this point that it is acceptable to bring Narcan in so you can always bring Narcan just to be extra careful in case anybody by you starts ODing or something on whatever then you have that I need to honestly get myself certified with Narcan or like learning how to do it because I honestly don't really know anything about it and I really want to start bringing it and like be more aware of how to use it and I just I don't know anything right now but that's my duty to learn and you guys should too so if you do want to bring Narcan to the events I believe it is acceptable I'm like 99% sure and they also are starting to do like harm reduction things at these places so that is so awesome because we really need it and I think it's legally like they're not allowed to do a lot of things that would keep us safer the rave companies are not allowed to do like harm reduction stuff so it's crazy so we can also take that upon ourselves learn CPR, learn Narcan stuff, bring test kits, share test kits, all the good things to keep us safe because it is something that does heavily happen at these things. It's just not something you can pretend doesn't happen. It does, you know? Be courteous to everybody. Also compliment them and like if you notice something really like about them or you like their outfit or they look really good in their outfit, make sure to tell them. I kind of struggle with that sometimes and I'll think it and I'll want to tell them and I'll just get too shy. I'm going to really try to make an effort to be more like that. If you see someone 
that looks beautiful to you or handsome to you compliment them tell them that start conversation make friends always say excuse me okay everyone knows this one but always say excuse me if you're passing through the crowd and you really want to get to the rail and you really want to go to the front make sure you are being respectful every person you walk by tell them excuse me every time I'm walking through a crowd well more so when I used to because I don't go to the front of the crowd anymore I don't care and I do VIP now so I'm already have my own little section to go to so it's not that big of a deal I don't like the front I like my space I like room I do not like to be touched but a lot of people like to go to the front so if you're going by make sure you say sorry excuse me it really is appreciated by people so make sure that you're always saying sorry and just being courteous to everyone you don't want to push people do not shove people do not act like you're better than anybody or you deserve to be at the front and they don't like everyone's equal here all are welcome okay pick a cute outfit that you feel extra confident in and wear it okay I I do not care there is no judgment here it's a no judgment zone from everybody or it should be you can wear whatever the heck you want no matter what you want wear that shit okay and also comfy shoes if you do want to wear platforms and you're a platform girly I would highly recommend the demonia camels the furry ones everyone in the rave scene wears those right now and they are so comfortable I get it I was able to wear the pink ones all night to escape Halloween and never take them off and I totally thought I was gonna have to take them off I do tend to stick with like my converse and things like like that because they are just the most comfortable and at the end of the day you kind of want to be in flat shoes but platforms really do help the shorty girls like me I am five feet tall and it really helps me like see better over the crowd <laughs> don't be afraid to separate from your friends that's a huge thing that I mean we don't really have a big rave squad anymore but there was times where we definitely had a big rave squad and we would always have to like go with each other to things that we didn't want to go to or we all were on different levels different pages of what we wanted to do different vibes and it just wasn't it trying to always stay together as much as there was amazing times together but make sure that you go off a little bit make sure with somebody make sure you're safe maybe don't go off alone but you can just be really really safe careful make sure your phone's charged bring a charger if you have to or just make sure you charge it before you go fully to 100% don't get too sick to where your friends have to take care of you and take you to the med tent all night I mean it happens you know and if you have to do it nobody should complain because you want to just make sure your friend is good but you don't want to be that friend that ruins the vibe for everyone that ruins the night for everyone don't mix things that are really dangerous and lethal together don't mix alcohol and MDMA don't mix I don't even know the mixes but there's a lot of lethal bad mixes so be very careful and just try to stick to one thing if you are gonna do something don't just mix everything you'll go crazy and it's not good for your health or your brain or anything so be careful anyways those are my tips I hope you guys enjoyed that I'm so excited for beyond and I am wearing an outfit from my festival brand the pretty pixie I make my own outfits on there and I also have like pre-made outfits that I decorate with butterflies and it's really cute so you guys should check it out the link will be in the description and you guys can grab an outfit for yourself and match me I'm really excited to like rep my brand for these things and you guys can totally check it out and get one for yourself too okay let's go into my closet my rave area i have like this little rack of stuff right here and this isn't everything this is a very small amount of stuff like i have my kimonos right here which i love i don't know if i'll actually ever wear them again to a festival i wore this one to edc day one last year and it was really cute but i don't know kimonos are cute but i don't know if they're like the vibe right now i have all my fanny packs i have this adidas one that i haven't worn in so long so i'm probably gonna wear that one but i wear this one every time and it has my stuff in it it has my earplugs and everything ready to go and I'm definitely going to be bringing these pashminas and Seb and I are going to be wearing these. I'm hoping to get two more pashminas on this beyond trip so we'll see if that happens. I should wear this backpack honestly but it's not safe. Like this is a lot safer for a rave than wearing a backpack in my opinion unless your backpack is super safe but this one isn't because someone can just like unzip it from the top so. So this is my glitter pack we have lots of glitter stuff in here i have barrettes that i got from a store i don't remember when this was like a long time ago i think this was like pre-pandemic this elf glue i got super cheap on amazon and it like sticks on your glitter really really well so if you want to do like a glitter highlight or something i highly recommend just like this elf glue like if you want to put this little glitter on your face but lunatics glitter is 10 out of 10 the gypsy shrine really really good glitter anyways so i'm probably going to use some of this i'm not quite sure these are an essential so there's like an iridescent colorful shine to it i'm obsessed with these i put the little ones on the corner of my eyes you can get like a bunch of packs of these on amazon so it'll come with like 20 of these i did a maddie euphoria look for beyond last year and i don't think i'm gonna do the same one obviously so i can change it up but i do think i want to use some of these colors so 
I'm not gonna test it out. I think I'm gonna test it, just try it day one and go for it, hope for the best. But I have some inspo images I'll put on the screen right now. Hi, Mrs. Me. Do you approve? Just sharing cool rave accessories with you guys. I'm not gonna be wearing these. I got these in 2020, I think. So they are kind of from a long time ago. I'm not sure how well they'd stick in an actual festival. They're basically just like pasties for your body. I'm kind of thinking it'd be cool to add some glitter on top of the eyeshadow. But maybe that's a little extra, but I might get some like blue glitters and like see if I can just make it look extra sparkly day of. Ooh, this is cool, but I think that's a little too dark. And I'm gonna take this all out and put it in my makeup area to prepare, even though we're still like a week away. But by the time you're seeing this, probably just a few days. This is my Beyond Day One outfit, and this is like a under boob top. It's so cute. This is from my brand. It's just like a cute little beige color. I feel like you don't see this at festivals. It's really comfortable. It's mid rise, so it's not like super low rise. This cute little like ring in the middle. I love the way that looks. It ties around your neck, and then it has two little butterflies right here. And it has the butterfly in the back on your butt. And it's a scrunchie booty, like thong booty, so it is kind of like revealing. I don't know what I'm going to wear in the Uber. I feel like I need to wear like jean shorts or something. I don't know. This is my Beyond Day 2 outfit, which is another outfit from my store. And this one I feel like you can make a little more exciting because of the color scheme. So you could do like blue shoes, purple shoes, pink shoes. You could do really whatever color you want. You really could even do black because there's like darker tones in it. I feel like black would be fine. So I even considered wearing my black platforms, but I think I'm going to save that for EDC and just kind of do a really simple comfortable look since this is day two and I'm always like tired day two and just want to have a good time you know so I'm not really going to be all about platforms day two but you guys will see how the outfit comes together definitely going to wear a pashmina with this it's so comfortable. I think this one's a little more high rise than the last one. And then this just like ties around your neck and covers the girls. So it's like so cute. And then it ties in the back. I love this one. So we're going to model her. We're going to make her look so cute. And then just do like really cute like pink makeup probably. Or purple. Ooh, I should do purple makeup. I never do purple makeup. We'll see. You guys will see how it all comes together. Follow me on Instagram. So, to kind of close this video off, I wanted to talk about pre-rave anxiety. And I feel like a lot of us get it. I follow a lot of like rave TikTokers and they always talk about it and stuff. And it's like so real. It's so true. I feel like I woke up early this morning and I was like, oh my God, I don't even know how to explain it. But it's like good anxiety. It's like nervous, exciting anxiety. So make sure you're prepared. Make sure you eat a really good meal before you go to any festival or if you're going to be on this weekend very healthy eat lots of fruit lots of substance you can even eat there too they have like really good food trucks at festivals always make sure you have a good meal before the night gets started make sure you get a really good night's sleep the night before a festival or a festival weekend because you're gonna be lacking sleep at these things during the weekend we're gonna probably get home I was like calculating it in my head today we usually get home at like 3 30 maybe 4 in the morning and then you basically have to wake up and do it all over again so so you have to prepare yourself for like a crazy overstimulating weekend so make sure you're good to go make sure you bring a freaking jacket this is an old jacket so it's a medium large but it still fits me pretty well only the arms are so freaking long but I highly recommend a jacket like this for the colder raves bring a jacket because it gets really cold especially at night but later in the night you're gonna literally freeze your butt off especially if you're like me and you're just always cold I have to have something like this to be able to enjoy my night and you won't enjoy your night if you have no jacket no warmth and it's gonna be cold outside and we're still in March you know so it's not like summer festival season yet in the summer months like August July all that you don't have to worry about jackets like this I have a black and a white one and I have to have them I have to wear them they go with a lot of my outfits too like this is really simple so I'm gonna stay warm and cozy do you guys get prairie of anxiety I don't even know how to explain it like is it anxiety or is it like excitement I don't know but I'm really really excited for this weekend and I am ready to rave and then a few months after that like two months is EDC Las Vegas so you know I'm so excited for that I have not raved in five months and for me that's a lot if you guys want more festival content like this let me know I'm definitely gonna be vlogging beyond and EDC and hard summer those are my only three for sure lined up with tickets bought I'll obviously probably go to more to close out the year but those are the for sure ones and I plan to vlog them all so if you want to stay tuned and watch my rave adventures make sure to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on social media Instagram Twitter I post a lot of updates and pictures and stuff on there that you can't get on youtube so definitely follow me on there if you want to keep up thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and i will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys